This is Mark Smith, the Humanitarian Director with World Vision. And I want to thank Lake Grove Church for your partnership with World Vision. Um, it's been a challenging year in Cox's Bazaar for the people that we work with. Um, in March of this year, there was a large fire that you may have heard about, destroyed a number of shelters, uh, damaged a lot of infrastructure. And then in July this year, heavy rains uh, impacted the camp in a significant way. A number of people were killed. Um, in response to the fire, I just would like to say that, uh, you know, World Vision swung into action and partnering with the World Food Program, we ended up distributing over a million food packages to 50,000 people impacted by the fire. And then repaired 86 latrines, rebuilt a water infrastructure. So our work was extensive in the camps following the fires. At the end of 2020, and these numbers were released in June of this year, there were over 82 million people who had been displaced by conflict, forced from their homes, either crossing a border to officially become a refugee, or uh, seeking asylum, or they have been in internally displaced within their own country. What does our work look like with these people? It is critical when people have been displaced from their homes and they have nowhere to go, and they've often left with what they can carry or what they can put in a vehicle, you need to give them the time, place, dignity, and support that they need as they make critical decisions about what's next for them and their family. You cannot expect a family or the head of a household to make decisions about the rest of his family's life in a week, two weeks, when they have lost most things, if not all things. And so our work in camps, our work with refugees and displaced people who are among the host population, it's an opportunity to meet needs in a dignified way and to give them the space and time to make decisions about what's next. Our work is in dozens of places around the world where we support refugees and displaced people. And we just want to thank you for your support in our work. Thank you.